everyone. Welcome to Saturday morning in the yarn shop with Teresa McKelvey. Uh, the yarn shop around the corner and located in Dayville, Alabama. And I'm uploading this video on YouTube today so that I can share it on the Facebook, but on YouTube because it's going to be a little bit longer. Um, so I want to talk all about, just kind of to demonstrate, I did not come up with this. Um, I, a, a lady who comes to Fiverr Friends, um, on Fridays from 10 to 12 here in the shop, Stacy Manny, um, she told me about this and then, um, now we are both addicted to them. Um, but it's how to use our Addy, uh, knitting machine to make these beautiful, uh, drop stitch infinity scarves. And I made a few here, uh, you can see with different colors. Um, and then this one I made with green. Um, they're just, they're so beautiful. Um. I mean, they are. They're quick. They're easy. They're faster than making a hat. Um, I made a gray one to go with my my shirt today, but and that was the only color yarn that I had available at the house last night, and I really wanted to do one. So anyway, um, they are really quick and easy. So I just wanted to do sort of a demonstration uh, for you to watch, and I will try to speed up some of the process. But I'm using. Um, Lion Brand Heartland yarn, and of course today I'm going to be working with some pink because I really want a pink one. Um, and so I just want to do a quick little kind of in the shop demonstration uh, to let you know how to make one of these. Like I said, I did not come up with this. Um, I've watched several YouTube tutorials and uh, looked at other groups, and probably a lot of trial and trial and error on my part is how I come up with uh, my style of doing it. So. Let's just get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is load your adding machine just like you were doing any, any a hat or anything. You don't need any waist yarn. So you're going to put your tail in, in here. And I'm, I know I'm not showing you up close, but that's because you just need the general directions. So anyway, what you're going to do is normal. You're going to um, load your yarn behind and in front, each needle all the way around. And then, let me finish loading. I'm afraid I'm going to mess up if I talk too much while I'm doing And then you're going to do as, as normal as you're doing anything. You always want to go slow your first couple of rounds just to make sure that each needle caught. You want to clear your, your count and you're going to do 100 rows. And so, like if you were going to change colors every, you know, like on that one I did 50 rows of one color, 50 rows of another color. Um, you could do variegated yarn or self-striping yarn. Um, I'm sure they'll do their own little colors for it. And so now I've got the first uh, couple of rounds. I'm going to speed up a little bit. This one is sort of quiet, so I feel like I could go a little bit faster with it and not interrupt um, what we're doing too much. I'm just going to let my yarn go loose down here. Normally, I try to put it in a yarn ball, but I'm just going to let it go a little loose. Okay, so I'm going to take this amount of time to kind of tell you about something special going on in the shop. You see, I don't know if you can see her back there or not. Um, Ophelia Toss Crochet. Um, her, I just went from two different subjects. But anyway, um, that's not going on in the shop, but it is. You can come in anytime and watch her videos, um, learn some of her tutorials. Uh, anyway, so Ophelia Toss Crochet. Um, YouTube channel, and um, anyway, I like to have her on on Saturdays because uh, it's like having my friend here in the shop with me. But anyway, um, so the big thing I want to talk to you about today is January the 28th, the 29th, which is a Friday and Saturday, we're going to have an indie dyer who's going to do a trunk show in the shop, and I'm real excited about it. I've seen her yarns, uh, the it's just, they're beautiful. And she's having um, a variety of weight sizes that she's gonna be bringing. And I'm just so excited to bring her. She's from Florida. And she's just got some absolutely beautiful yarns. And um, I think you really enjoy meeting her and getting to, you know, just kinda look at her yarns and see uh, an indie dyer who does it all herself. And so um, I'm excited to bring that to you. That's the end of January, 28th and 29th. Okay, so like I said, we need to do 100 rows. And I am at 
almost 20. Now you pick. Doesn't take long. Um, the faster you roll, the faster. I am putting a little bit of tissue, just so you know. Not very much. I just basically have it running. It's going through the tissue guide on the machine, but also it's going through my hand just a little bit. Um, I would have liked to have shot this video and edit it in a way where I could, um, you know, skip to the end, but I, when you're doing it all by yourself, sometimes you just gotta do what you can do, so, um, it doesn't take long. I think you're gonna hear me, and we can talk about other things too while we're waiting, so, um, if only I could breathe. Goodness, I'm having issues breathing this morning. I haven't tested out any other, um, like I want to try the Malabrigo Rios um, on doing this star product uh, with some of, the, some of their variegated. Um, and I haven't tried anything chunkier than Heartland, which is a, I think it's considered a four. So then you're just gonna load it up as usual. I'm gonna do 50, 50 rounds. I'm sorry, a hundred rows. 50 if you're gonna change colors and you wanna do uh, just two colors. All right, I'm gonna to try to speed up this video. So hang on. to um, have every Saturday some sort of yarn shop demonstration. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, if I could find, come up with some, I'm gonna throw that out that way. Some fun and interesting, uh, quick little projects like this to show. I know that not everyone can make these because not everyone has a um, an adding machine, uh, an any machine, but I will say there is Another brand called Centro that is uh, cheaper. And I have one and I think it works just as well as my Addy. Um, so we could, you know, you could do that as well. Um, and I know that um, this is kind of cheating, but it's quick, it's fun, it's uh, something that I think uh, preteens can do, teenagers can certainly do, young adults most definitely, and adults and older can do. You know, when you get to an age where you can't hold the needles on for a very long time, it, it's kind of nice to still be able to handcraft and work with yarn. Um, you know, if you have arthritis or things that stops you from being able to uh, crochet or knit for periods of time, you know, you can still make things and uh, by using the adding machine or using the knitting machine. So I think they are a wonderful uh, tool and resource for knitters and crocheters. That's my endorsement. Uh, they don't, I had to buy all my machines on my own. Uh, I'm not, you know, in any way uh, sponsored by them. I just happen to really enjoy my machine and I get excited when I find a new project that I can make. So I'm at 60 and I'll keep on going and meet back with you in a moment. So one little tip, I will say that when you get um, down, and I am 
to get it to get warm. So these things are obviously warm. I'm gonna take that off. Um, but would you get it down to it's touching your table or whatever you have it on? Just roll it up a little bit inside of itself and that'll help it for pulling down, help it not pull down all the needles. Okay. Keep breaking. It's fun. Put on the movie, put on something you enjoy watching and crank right along. I just, I love it. I'm sorry. I just, I get so excited because not only, oh, yarn, yuck. Uh, not only is it um, beautiful and so lightweight and I, so much, I, I enjoy wearing them, but uh, it's fun to make. It's fun. I love quick, fun, easy projects that are a beautiful gift. So, anyway, you can still see Annie back there talking. I think my ring light's showing in the TV, so I can't really see her. So one more thing I will say, yes, they do have adapt adapters where you can hook up the drill to make these things go even faster. I think that's a little bit ridiculous uh, myself, but they didn't ask me. So, uh, but there are all kinds of, what do you call it? Um, hacks that you could do on it. So, and definitely don't do like me and just put your skein of yarn on the floor. Put it in the yarn bowl. Um, mine's going everywhere and getting tangled. But anyway, I'm at 78. So let's keep going. how to edit all this out so I don't have to upload the whole thing or y'all will be laughing but it's on my phone so I probably will not be able to edit too much so we'll just we will just go with it whatever it is it is it doesn't take that long so and I could be going faster but I've been spending so much time talking and pulling my yarn all right I've got 10 more rounds you it doesn't take long at all and it's really fun the next two parts now the next one part is not like particularly fun but it's not difficult it's not hard it's just it's very easy okay almost there now most counters will say most of your counters will turn to a number but usually right before you go to the like if you're going 100 you want to go right before it's going to say 101 because that's actually completing the round that when it counts it is starting the round and you want to do that actually and i've seen some people do 110 rows um i do 100 and on this yarn i haven't tried any others i'll let you know if i do um if it comes out differently but i find 100 yard 100 rows works great. It is super simple. I mean, it's super simple. All right, I would already be done, but I keep fighting with my yarn. Don't be like me. Don't fight with your yarn. Okay, so here we go. So it's going to turn. I wasn't at, I was 99. It's going to turn 100. Right there. Now I'm going to go all the way to the black ones pop up again because that's actually the end of a hundred. I'm going to take a good bit of my yarn, probably too much, but I like to take, you know, a body's length of my yarn, cut it, take it out of its house. You're going to load it up in a big old yarn needle. One comes with the machine, but if you're like me and you've misplaced it, 
You could just get any other kind of yarn needle. Okay, load your yarn up in it. Come on. Okay, very simple. If you're taking off a hat, you know, you go through and you pick up every loop. Well, with this, you take every other loop. So you start here, then I mean, you, know, you put your finger there. Don't get that one, get the next one. And so you wanna just pull through. And with the hat, you're worried about, you know, dropping a stitch. Well, this is called a drop stitch. So the point of this is to drop stitches, but you only wanna drop every other one. And I, instead of just picking them all up, I kind of pull it all the way through. Yes, it takes a little longer, but I just want to make sure that I'm securing them. And so you're going to go through and pick up every one all the way around. And I'm sure you're like, well, why have we got to sit here and watch you do that? Well, because I don't know how to fast forward my thing. Sorry. Just hang on. Every other one. And while we're doing this and you're waiting, you're going all the way around, you're picking up every other one, I could tell you that. I do have a lot of things I'd like to do in the yarn shop. Um, I will say that we have a spinning, yarn spinning seminar planned for May. We have a yarn dyeing seminar planned for April. We have, um, oh gosh, sock knitting in March, a steaking class in March. We have, okay, so let's start again. March is um, sock knitting and steaking. April yarn dyeing. And all these classes are limited, so make sure you um, get information, you know, and sign up as quick as you can. And let me go ahead and tell you, if if you I say any class or you find out any class that you are interested in, the best thing to do is to go to the website and get on the mailing list, the email list, and send. Also, there's best it's to send an email. Um, and say, you know, the subject line, this classes, or this class. I want to make sure, you know, I'm in. Um, and that way I could put you on a list and you could be informed. So, um, with that being said, let's go back. March will be some sock knitting and some steaking. These are for knitted. These are people, um, sock knitting would say, you need to know the basics of, you know, you need to be a knitter. Um... And I would say, consider yourself, you know, that you can knit most projects, uh, intermediate, not, not an advanced intermediate, but you know, a little bit more than a beginner, you know, more than just cast on and how to knit and purl. Okay, so, or you have that down really well. How about that? Steaking is advanced. If you're an advanced knitter and you want to learn how to steak or you want to, uh, Go for a workshop with steaking, advanced knitting, knitter. Those will be in March. April yarn dyeing. That's anyone. Anyone could do some yarn dyeing. That's just fun. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. We're using crock pots. And it'll just be a fun, sort of messy day, but very creative. And it's just, just a fun day. that You don't have to have any sort of experience for that. And, okay, so... May will be yarn spinning. If you're interested, if you just want to watch, if you want to hang around, if you want to try it, uh, that would be a great workshop. It'll be so much fun. And let's see. I can't remember the rest of them. <laughs> uh, they, they will be on the website. I will make real more formal announcements on those. Um, but we're talking about so weaving. We're talking about, and so I also want to say, hang on, I take the last one as well, that right where the first one started. Okay, so you spit them all around, you took every other one, and now you're just going to turn it, yay, it falls right off. Okay, so then there's the last step, the last, 
the last two steps. I'm going to come around so you can really see. Hi, you haven't seen me. I'm way back there. Um, see what I'm doing. Okay, so now you have your, your end. It's like a, a tube. And so you've got your two ends. I go ahead and take my needle out. Um, and I, I will say, because I should not have talked about all the things we have going on because then I get you uh, interested. I will do a more official video and I will make sure that there's links up so that you can purchase the classes right away and sign up and you have more advanced notice. Um, I was just yakking when I was making this today. So I take it, I stretch it kind of gently, just a little bit. Oh, I love this color. Um, okay, so you stretch it just a little bit. You take the other end that was on, not your long end, where you just uh, did every other one, but the beginning. You take this and you go ahead and, you know, kind of tighten it up like you were, like were going to make a hat. You just pull it tight. For some reason, mine's not wanting to pull tight. Hmm. What did I do? Leave it to me. Be doing something. All right, I don't know what I did there. I got it knotted somehow. Now it doesn't want to pull tight. I've only tried to do this video so many times this morning. Okay, that's not real important. Pull it as tight as, there it goes. Pull it tight. I had a little knot. And fold all that part, you know, this up. Fold that in. Pull that in tight. Okay. Now you're gonna go to the other end. You stretch it gently. Now this is the end where you did every other one. And you got your long tail. So you want to take it and pull it just gentle, not real hard. But you want to fold all that inside. I'm barely going to get done before I open. Sorry, this is so long. Okay, so you want to take that. You want to pull it all the way, pull it all the way. All right, so now is the fun part. This is so crazy. Okay, so you see it's like this. So you'd be like, okay, that's not, okay. Now's where the drop stitch part comes in. So you take it and you're going to pull this tight and then you're going to pull. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, I'm telling you, it's satisfying and fun. I mean, at the same time, you know, it's like, and I like, I will tell you, I pull more from this side than this. This is just kind of holding it. This side's doing the pulling. And what I mean by this side's, hello, this side. This side's doing the pulling. And you just keep pulling and keep pulling. Now, this is a little bit easier when it's on a table. I'm sitting here holding it, so it's not as, as easy to pull. But you just keep pulling. I mean, oh, I'm telling you. And of course it's pink, so I'm excited about that. You see how it's growing? Oh, it's just gorgeous. That's why you don't have to do a whole many rows um, because it just grows into some just beautiful. And then, so you see, we're almost to the end. Keep going, keep going, don't stop yet. Okay, keep going, see, we're almost to the end. Pull all the way, all the way. Then you can kind of just pull little bits as you get to the end there. Pull all the way. Tighten back up. All right, so now's the fun, another fun part. So I tighten these two ends and then I go ahead, I'm gonna, all right, I got to do this close to the, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. So I go ahead and take these two ends and I cut them because my string is really long. Hang on. I did not plan this out very well. Okay, so I take these two ends here, these two and the string, and I'm just gonna cut it like that. And now I'm gonna knot them. This is the worst tutorial I've ever done, but I think y'all understand what I'm trying to get done before I open the shop. So you're just gonna put it in a little knot, okay? And then, you're gonna go back to get your yarn needle. So this is what you've got going. And tell you what, I'm gonna come back over here because I think you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. This down here. Um, okay, so now you're gonna take your yarn needle and you're gonna take your two ends 
You're going to thread it back through. I'm sorry, I get tickled at myself thinking. Can anybody really see what I'm doing? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to come back over there because I don't think you can see. All right, so now you just take your two ends, which you've already sort of secured by tying them in the knot, and you're going to kind of do it like I flatten it, flatten it out. And then all you're going to do, so you flatten it, all you're going to do now is take this and sew right across. You're just sewing them together to make your infinity. And then, you know, I love to take um, a scarf and put a brooch on it. Um, to you can you could crochet a little flower, put something. But you'll also because it's an infinity scarf. You can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, this is why I was gonna stay back there so I could continue working. Okay. Okay, there. Now I got it on the table. All right, so. Oh my goodness, Teresa, your tutorials. Um, so you just sew back and forth. You're just closing it up, securing it really nice and tightly. I kind of like to go over mine a couple of times. You know, I like to pull on it, make sure. Okay, did I get it all the way? Because it's it's so thick. You know, you want to make sure. Did I? Did I go all the way across and see, I can see I didn't. So I'm gonna go back and catch some of that. It's very forgiving. It's a lot of fun. And as you see, quick and easy. I mean, that's it. That's all you do. Take it, I take it out. I tie another knot one more time, usually two more times. You can sew that ends in if you want. I feel like I have tons, so I clip it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now see, that's that's one side, eh, not too pretty. That's the other side. I mean, it's gorgeous. I, yeah, this might be my favorite one. I just love the pink. I love, let me get up here so I can see better. I don't have my glasses on, so I really can't see. See, I just love them. I think they're gorgeous. Um, it was quick and easy project. Anyone could do this. Anyone could do this. I mean, it's just simple. There you go. Okay, that was my sort of quick and easy uh, drop stitch infinity uh, in drop stitch infinity scarf on a knitting machine uh that's your little saturday fun in the yarn shop around the corner in dayville alabama i'm Teresa mckelvey thanks so much for watching see you next time bye